The U.S. on Wednesday called Houthi militants a terror group after about 30 attacks on international shipping lanes since mid-November. If the Houthis cease the attacks, we can certainly reconsider this designation. If not, the United States and Britain could launch more attacks against Houthi radar sites, launch sites and drone and missile facilities inside Yemen. The Houthis need to ask themselves how much of their capability do they want degraded uh, and disrupted uh, in light of these illegal, reckless and dangerous attacks. It is exceptionally long overdue and it's, it's still not even a complete restoration. Critics of the administration, like FDD's Behnem Ben Talablu, say more needs to be done against the Houthis, who serve as proxies for their military supplier, Iran. This is a neo-colonial project the Islamic Republic is engaging in to establish proxies and footholds across the Arab heartland of the Middle East to be able to have them fight the ideo ideological adversary of the Islamic Republic, which is the Jewish state in the Middle East. Iran supplies illicit weapons to violent proxies across the Middle East in Gaza, Lebanon, Syria, Iraq and Yemen. This month, U.S. forces boarded this small boat off the coast of Somalia and confiscated several advanced conventional weapons bound for Yemen and made by Iran. Iran denies supplying the Houthis with missiles, despite repeated evidence to the contrary. Iran has this proxy strategy which aims to put distance between it and threats and to create deniability. But with this newfound missile power, the regime is actually quite content in showcasing this itself. Tehran carried out deadly missile strikes inside Iraq and Pakistan this week, angering its neighbors. Islamabad recalled its Iranian ambassador as Iraqis in the northern Kurdish region launched massive protest. Karlabab, VOA News, The Pentagon.